In this example, we want to find the area bounded by the curves y equals x squared minus 5 and y equals 3 minus 6x minus x squared. So our first step with the problem is always to figure out where these two curves cross. We've got the area bounded between them. It's going to stretch between the points where these curves intersect. So to define the intersection, we want to set the two curves equal to each other. So if we set x squared minus 5 equal to 3 minus 6x minus x squared, and then we solve, we can first move everything to the left, move everything by 2, and this factors as x plus 4, x minus 1. So intersection points are x is minus 4, and x is plus 1. So the last step for we actually find the areas, figure out which of these functions is on top, and we can do it by plugging in 0 because 0 is between these two values. So I plug in 0, this gets me a minus 5, this gets me a plus 3. So this one is on top, which means the area between these curves is found by the integral from minus 4 up to 1 of the top function minus the bottom function. We can then solve out by simplifying the expression, by taking the integral, and plugging in our endpoints. We can then cancel a bunch of minus signs. See, this evaluates to a 5 minus 2 thirds for the first term, a 32 plus a 48, which is 80, minus 128 over 3. Since 5 is 15 thirds and 80 is 240 over 3, this becomes a 13 thirds plus a 240 minus 128 is a 112 over 3, which is 125 over 3. So that's how we would set up and then find the area of the region bounded by these two curves.